uh, where things lie this individual moment. The lawmakers themselves joining me now from our nation's capital, Republican Congressman Steve King. He attended a secret, super secret late night meeting with Senator Ted Cruz and other GOP lawmakers last night. Democratic Congressman Adam Smith. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks for having us on, Sean. All right, Steve, bring us into this super secret Ted Cruz <laughs> strategy session from last night. What happened? Well, it must not have been completely secret, Sean. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, first of all, it was it was a conversation of uh, generally conservatives from the House and a, and a couple of conservative senators, and we talked about what we thought the president might do and what our alternatives might be. And you know, we were in a moment in time, and you know, some things have happened since then. So uh, the timing of it was good at the time, but here we are in a new circumstance here tonight. And one of the things that was brought up that that I was surprised to hear was if we get to this October 17th date there was a real fear in the room that the president would order that they would that he would not pay the interest and not service our debt and bring about a willful default and that shocked me that people actually thought the president might do that if the president were to do that that's our that's a constitutional obligation that we have to pay our, mm -hmm. our debts and obligations mm -hmm. um, that is a good point and and congressman smith you know, we take in $220 billion a month. I don't like the fact that the media and some people on your side of the aisle have been scaring the American people, saying we're not going to pay our debts and obligations. That is mathematically impossible. Uh, this deadline is artificial. You know it. I know it. We're taking in 220 a month. Uh, we're talking about 10, 20, 30, depending on what time the debt payment is. If a I, billion. If I, it's, not, it's a small cool. portion of what we take in. If, if I might, Sean. First of all, do, I, I disagree with you very strongly. It depends on what you mean by debts and obligations. If you're talking about the interest that we owe on the debts, yes, certainly we can cover that. But the federal government has a lot of bills, Social Security, veterans pay. And what we know about the debt ceiling is once you don't borrow that money, we will not be paying some bill that we have incurred. Now, it may, we may go ahead and pay all the people who have lent us money their interest, but maybe we won't be able to pay workers. Maybe we won't be able to pay contractors. We will not be able to pay the bills that we have incurred. It's like saying because I've covered the mortgage. You're taking in $220 billion a month. That would fund Social yes. Security, Medicare, our military. Uh, it will not vets, fund everything and that and the federal government. It will not fund everything that the federal government does. No, it That's wouldn't. why there's that, that, a ceiling. Yeah, you guys would have no, to cut No, it wouldn't. Back. Exactly. I agree. It wouldn't. But it, we would not give up our debts and obligations. Congressman King, well, you, you uh, settled what do you, the what dispute. Do you, what, do you mean, what do you mean by the word obligation? Another, another, well, it means I mean, that we it would give up some our of big our obligations. obligations. In other words, we would pay off our debt. Oh, we, we would pay we our debt obligations. We could still pay our small obligations. Listen, but Maybe you need a calculator in D.C. Let me help you out no, slowly you need here. One. Because if you take in $220 billion and you're dealing with a debt service of 20, that's a small that's amount. That's just Hang the on. debt that service. Allows us, that allows us to pay also our military, our social security. Medicare, Medicaid, to pay all of our bills. It, it, it does not exactly. allow us to pay all of our but bills, was, as you admitted a second ago. But you're missing that whole point. There are not. Uh, this may shock you. The EPA is not as essential as you may think that it is. Uh, so and we, we might survive have to pay as a country without it for a month. I hate to tell you that. How, how would you like to run a business where you said, you know what? I've just decided not to pay a third of my employees this month. You've all done the work. Please keep doing the work. We're just not going to pay you. We've already. I mean, that's, we've that's already, crazy. We are not going to meet our obligations. You know, are you that behind in the news? You've got to watch the show more because they already passed the bill Sean? in the House. That the, hang on, that the 17% of the government I, that's not being funded, those employees that have been laid off playing golf, an, tennis, working out, having a good time, issue. eating lunch, drinking wine, they're all going to get back pay. Congressman it's an King, entirely weigh in. different. Well, issue. Sean, you know this argument about there's going to be a default just isn't true. It takes 8% of our cash flow to service our debt. That's all. And we're at this point because we have overspent. And some will say, well, we have to borrow money and pay any of the bills that come in because somebody else voted in a previous Congress that you have these obligations. Somebody in a previous Congress voted that we have Obamacare too, but no member of Congress today is obligated by a decision that's made by a previous Congress. And if we continue going down this path and the president pushes these trillion dollar deficits on us, eventually we're going to get to the point where even the Adam yeah. Smith economists will look back and say we should have drawn the you line know, look, somewhere. I, I, I agree. Congressman Smith, Sean, 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 Sean I, I, say, I got a question for you. This is important. Yes. You know, you, you're talking about, well, we can't fund this, we can't fund that. Here's, here's a question I have for you. You guys up in Washington have accumulated $90 trillion in unfunded liabilities. You've got $17 trillion in debt. This president will double the debt of every Sean? single... Can I finish? Every single president I don't think that's combined possible, go ahead. before him 
because he already has given us $7 trillion of Obama right. debt. He will double the debt that he inherited. And how do our kids pay all of this back? And let the me, cost let me just, of Obamacare? Like, okay, okay, let me just, we have a deficit problem. I'm not going to argue that at all. I think we definitely so need what are you to doing about the deficit. It? But that is a different thing than saying we're simply going to stop paying our bills. What we're I would not, like to see done about it. You're not, you're not listening. You, you, no, I'm listening. listening. You said you, every you time you borrow say, money, you Congressman. Say, let me get you this through your liberal head. No, every I, time I, I you listen, borrow Sean, money, that's very you're insulting. robbing but from I've our to you. children yeah. and our I, grandchildren. What part of that Sean, are you getting? I, I've heard you. The part Good. about where you say listening. that, well, it, Sean, it's hard because you never stop talking. Are, but I, I have a Sean, new grandchild that I expect. We need to deal with the deficit. We do. Why don't we do it? Simply. Because we have not an agreement with the Republicans and the Democrats to do that. Yes, the debt is terrible. There's no arguing that. But okay. to simply say, rather, and the Republicans have not passed entitlement right. reform. Right. They have not passed tax reform. Con I mean, we need to do Democrats these things. Democrats will we don't defend need to get up everything that the president wants, no matter how irresponsible it is. They will defend the president. That's They're not, not stopping your analyzing economics. They're not defending policy. Not They're doing. simply defending the president. Well, then tell your president that he's wrong. Tell him to come to the table. Tell him to negotiate well, with us so that we can nonsense, start to reform entitlements like Medicare and Social Security why haven't you and done Medicaid that? and Obamacare. I'm ready to do oh, all that. Ryan offered a, Steve, oh, can Ryan I say offered a, a plan. Steve, can I say a word? Go ahead. The House Republicans have been in charge of Congress for three years. They have not passed entitlement reform. If it's such a huge priority for the House Republicans, why haven't they passed it? Right, we got a break. Good to Tom see you guys. To the table. Congressman Get the Smith. President to the table. I think you guys should go to the table. I think we should lock you in a room, not feed you, and come out when you balance the budget and stop robbing from our kids. That's